Special learning ability, uh, being very passionate. And so I'm thinking to myself, at that time, I made a really good decision to have this volunteer coach, and he's going to go out with Tim and keep on learning more and get that experience, and good things are going to happen. And so it was easy to see that he had something really special going on. This is kind of rewarding for you, too, yes. to see this happen. Absolutely. I, I, I haven't been in this building in seven years. I haven't uh, to see him been in the stadium, so, so it makes me feel welcome back. And because I know the hands of the program in right now, and I feel good about it, and I've been welcomed by him um, and Graham, which has been very special for me the last, uh, last, you know, last few months. So um, I, feel, I feel good about it. Feel good. Jack, forgive me if you've been asked this, but how involved would you like to be in the program? <laughs> uh, it's really up to Eric. It's his program, and I'm excited for him. I'm excited to talk to him about it. Um, I love being on the field. I still got lots, lots in me, lots in the tank. I just love coaching, fundamentals, teaching, competing, all those types of things. Love coaching coaches. Love talking to players. Love motivating. Love uh, the competition. So, you know, whatever capacity uh, that I can help or lend to him and uh, his program, then. You know, I'm willing to, willing to do it. And, uh, so it's really up to, up to Eric and, and what kind of, you know, what the rules allow and what, what he has planned for me. And, and uh, if anything, you know, it's really going to be up to him. And, and I, I do love Clemson baseball and I, I've missed it. And uh, I'm just glad to be welcomed back into the facility and, and uh, into the program in some capacity. And, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my players. The amount of texts I've gotten the last, you know, last four or five days has been unbelievable. But they, but they, they feel good that I've been included in some way. I thank Graham for that and his leadership and, and Eric uh, as well. How, how exactly did you find out that Eric got the job? Uh, well, Graham called me. You know, and he let me know. And like I say, he's been very good about I've been very upfront and uh, kept me in the loop. And uh, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me, and, and it means a lot to my, like I said, it means a lot to my players. And uh, that's how I found out. And I was very happy, very excited. You said you had stepped foot in this building in seven years. I mean, what was that like? What was the feeling? Well, just just walking down the left field line means a lot to me, and be able to look at the field and see teams playing on it. And, and, uh, I spent a quarter of a century of my life in this field. And uh, so I've missed it. And I've, uh, you know, it means a lot every time I, I come in here. And I walk up into here and see how, how special this facility is. It's uh, something nice. You know, I was involved a long time ago in the planning of it and, and all those types of things. And so uh, um, it's kind of unusual not to, not to have been in it, but I'm glad to have been in it today. And very nice facility. What about Eric gives you confidence in this program now that he's taking over? What about him gives you confidence in him? Everything about him, his personality, his, uh, his care for his players, his uh, ability to have relationships with his players and make that a strong foundation of his team, uh, his work ethic, his energy, his passion, um, his knowledge base. You know, he's been around some good people. Um, he pays attention. Uh, it's important to him. He's tireless. <laughs> He's just a tireless worker, and that's going to lend him to be successful here. I just know it. And he's got a lot of good facilities to work with. He's got a lot of, a lot of great tradition to draw on. He's got a lot of people who care about the program. He's got a lot of good, experienced people to, to call on if he needs them. But he's well, you know, he's well versed in how to run this job and how to run a program. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I apologize if they asked you this earlier, but were, the, were some of those qualities something that you noticed, uh, you know, even early on in his career when he was with you and your coaching staff? Yes, I mean, from the very beginning, he, he exhibited passion, energy, enthusiasm, smile on his face every day, loved baseball, couldn't wait to get to the field, uh, fit right in with Sully and Forbes and myself and, and that team. 
Uh, all those players from that team have been texting me, well, I hope it's Eric Packers, you know. And it, so he made an impression even in the year that he was here, and he understood what the program was all about. He helped, you know, be part of a, an integral, integral part of a team that went to Omaha, played for national championship, uh, had the player of the year on it, uh, won 54 games, was the number one team in the country at the time. So he got indoctrinated real quick what Clemson baseball is all about. And so he learned those lessons and he's taken them and I think imparted them all the teams that he's been uh, part of.